Hello all, this is Yanni from JDrums and welcome to one of my uh, no, no editing uh, all in one run videos. So let's get going. Um, today I will be uh, opening the first time uh, CUAV V5 Plus. Uh, I was making a V5 uh, Nano earlier, but now we are looking at V5 Plus, which is another autopilot for, for that has a full support from other pilot. And uh, today we are going to look this one. So, yeah, let's get going. Yes, all right. So if you are new on this one channel, uh, I give you five seconds time to go down and click the subscribe and hit the bell button. So you will receive all the new one videos while I'm taking some dip of water from my beautiful autopilot cup. Mm. One, two. Ah, that's a good one. All right. So let's put a top camera there and that one so uh v5 plus uh earlier uh they had a, a v5 this is uh now i think this is about maybe two years old autopilot from cuav and and, and uh, uh currently as far as i remember now uh, this has been already like for end of life because they upgraded uh uh, to the v5 v5 plus uh, according several of, of uh, proposals what i was also making for them and a few other people have been proposing for, for them so so nice but anyway we can we can have uh, some reviews against this one and i also have the the cube autopilot so we can put them later on uh, one by one in the side by side and look the sizes and others but let's now start opening this one i got this one uh, on our Drone World Congress uh, in Shenzhen UAV uh, uh, developer conference from Lindy. Thank you, Lindy. Uh, there. Okay. So what do we have in here? Uh, the autopilot itself. Let's have a quick look immediately between. So yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit smaller, which is nice. Uh, they are, they have a lot more connectors on top side. Uh, some of them are earlier it was on on inside, and now it's mostly on top. Um, let's see, the RC connectors are same, power connectors are pretty much the same. The 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 autopilot itself, which is inside the box, a cube, is the same. So there, there's no any bigger one changes. There are some some small hardware changes inside, which is always good. And I know that they are making a one more revision of this one, and there's going to be some more hardware changes inside. And this is based on uh, STM32F765, which is the microcontroller that most of the developers and most of the manufacturers are currently using for making higher end uh, autopilot systems. Uh, same thing with, with the Nano. Uh, I do have the Nano in here, if you remember this one. So we have the same connectors in Nano. Let's put it away. And they are fully compatible with, uh, with a, a uh, normal JST GH, even though the color is still. I actually haven't been looking the, looking the data sheet that does JST offer two colors. Normally I'm using them as a, a natural white color, but uh, let's just have a quick. So yeah, they, they work just fine. Uh, this is, I know that this is a original JST connector, so I'm, I'm fully sure that they are fine. Yeah, nice and firm. All right, let's put that one away there. Okay, so what else we have in the box? The autopilot itself, it says V5 on top, yeah, and front, okay, front is that way, so, okay. Then we have GPS, GPS, 
Uh, it has a button in here, uh, several LEDs in here, and it should be mounted that way as a front. So most likely there is a, a compass, compass inside. Again, I will put all the description, technical details and others down below, so you will find all that one. And there's a, there's a uh, wiki page already on, on, on uh, Arupilot. I can quickly show. So we have this wiki page on, on Arupilot uh, document site, so you can look a lot more from there, like uh, connections and all, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right. Now, what else? Packing materials. Another Christmas. I like Christmas. It's always nice to open and look what other people have been doing. Like there, there. Cabling and others. So what all we have in here? Oops. Let's take them all out. Now that's empty. I'm gonna put it, let's put it over there. So, safety button. This is a similar kind of a safety button what we had on, on uh, the V5 Nano, which have a nice uh, blue one uh, light in, in the uh, power button and it has a buzzer. Good. And the buzzer is actually quite loud, which is always nice, especially if you put that one inside your vehicle. So. You will hear. Ah, and they have the other one, the same uh, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth uh, small data link modem. So, so it's easy to connect uh, from your laptop or, or mobile phones or whatever. Even if you don't have a data link, so you can you can use this one and connect that one on, on one of the telemetry ports in here. I will be doing uh, later on a. a uh, video where I connect all these ones and, and uh, make it really working and others. So today we just check with the computer briefly that how it reports itself as a totally fresh hardware. Then we have uh, same same uh, USB. This is a, a, a micro USB and uh, for telemetry. So if you want to connect your computer directly on, on, on the autopilot without using the uh, onboard uh, USB connector. So you can use that one. So just like if you want to put, let's say, outside of your vehicle, you can use you can use this one to, to connect. And then we have the I2C uh, CAN bus splitter, which is nice. And especially now that because more and more uh, UAV CAN systems are coming on the market and, and we're pushing a lot of all kind of devices. So it's nice to have some uh, hubs for, for UAV CAN. Power module. Yeah, this is the similar power module or same power module what we have on uh, Nano. Uh, power cables goes in one of these power ports. Yeah, we have two power ports in here. Power one and power two, so you can use this one. This is, uh, yeah, it's a clip mate. Um, now I do have a magnifying glass. It's so small. Oh yeah, it's uh, ten from ten volts to sixty volts. These power power regulators. Uh, I was looking uh, on earlier on that. Uh, Nano review that it was 40 volts, but I don't see it so properly. The text is so small in here, so it says 10 to 60 volts, which is really nice, a really powerful uh, uh, regulator, and output is 5 amps. Hmm, that's a good one. I wonder what is the shunt? How well the shunt handles that one? Oh, it's, oh there's actually a double shunt. Okay, good. All right, USB cable. And again, this is a, a, a USB-C, so we have, yes, there we have a US, USB-C cable uh, connector, which is really nice, again, because you can put the USB-C both ways, and, and, and uh, you don't have to worry that did you put your hand correctly. If you, if you have the auto button in a tight spot, you can just, you know, put it whatever ways, and it always goes inside. 
I like USB-C a lot. I all my uh, SSD hard drives, all my mobile phones, all my tablets are using USB-C, and and it's really nice. RC cables. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Two pieces of RC cables. What are they? 15, 20 centimeters for connecting your receiver. And then cable, I mean, back of all kind of random cables. Most likely there's uh, SBASIs, RSSI, and stuff like that, like in a nano. So, yeah, let's look it. Okay, I do, I do see a CAN cable. And yet again, this one I wouldn't be really using for CAN because the, the can low, can high, the, the two sentiment cables, they are not twisted. So if you want to go uh, robust can communication, you need to have those cables twisted. So, But for short term, one single, let's say like for uh, can display, which is close by the, 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 the autopilot, it's, it's, it's usually fine. Uh, SPAS cable with the normal RC connector and then the uh, GH connector for the autopilot. Then what we have in here, ADC cable, that's the, for the 6 volt ADCs, and DSM cable, second ADC for lower voltage, and then the last one is the RSSI. So basically these cables are all the same, and all, all these accessories are same as in the, the, the CUAV Nano V5, um, this one, this one, this one autopilot, so... Yeah. Good. All right. Now, what should... I think I will connect that one now on, on the computer, what I have in here. So I have a cable. And this one has never been installed on, on my computer. So this is going to be totally fresh. Fresh installation now, and let me just change it to the computer. There we are. Uh, put it down. Now let's connect the autopilot, so we can see how this one is going to be detected by the computer. Three, two, one. Okay. Do we have any information? Okay, I think because I've been connecting the Nano earlier, so most likely the drivers and everything are same. Let's let's just start the mission planner to look. Can we connect on that one? On Nano we were able to connect. Ah, there it says that setting up a CUA via V5. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, we have a COM5 which most likely is the autopilot. So again, okay, and COM5, good. So again, I don't know that do we have a, a autopilot software or do we have a BX4 based software in here. So let's see, let's just connect and look what happens in here. Okay, it's connecting. And what do we have? Okay, it, it, it seems to have multicopter firmware inside. Right, okay. Uh, I could try, let me just move my face from there. Let's put it down there, better. So we see all these ones, accelerometers, everything is working just fine. I could try to upload Firmware. Now, let's see what happens. Ah, sorry, I'm connected. Okay. Uh, now let's just put the latest one, Multicopter Firmware. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Ah, okay. Copter. Official version type, yes, GUAV, okay, API, USB ID board, okay, upload firmware. Hmm. Working just fine. 
this is the nice thing on live uh, recordings and other because we don't we don't edit any of these ones so you see how it would actually happen in a real world and and, and uh, okay let's look. okay I don't have the buzzer so I don't know but probably it's already done so yeah uh, the nice thing on, on live this kind of a live video recordings is that uh, there's no after uh, post post processing or anything like that so everything works like like what you see uh, in this video okay connect oh i might be actually yeah i think i have to let's disconnect and connect again sorry okay Let's click it again. I'm talking too much, so hey, no, I want to have that one copy. Platform is a C wife. Do we have a yeah? Okay. Let's do it again. And less talking on this time because we need to uh, plug the uh, USB cable and uh, unplug and plug it in. So Connecting, erase. All right, now we're erasing the software. So it looks like we have. It looks like actually we do have a, a, a Arduino based uh, bootloader inside in here. That's nice. That's nice. It helps us a lot, especially if you if you want to use uh, Arduino on on your on your uh, V5 Plus. If not. We can always update the bootloader and I will be doing a, 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 another video later on where we actually change the bootloaders and all that kind of stuff. So you can see how, how the process is done for, for that. Program verify, upload done. Okay, we don't have the buzzer, so about now, upload done. Just in case, disconnect and then connect. Wait a little while. Let's try to connect. Connection failed. Let's wait a little bit longer. Did we change? Ah, okay, we changed USB port. No one. Looks like we have. It's printing a lot. So I will cancel that one and yeah, I think it's not fully rebooting yet. So let's wait a little while. I might need to update the firmware again on this one. So, all right, that's not a problem. That's a good way of doing the next one, next one video of really making sure that yeah, I broke it. Well, actually, I didn't broke it, but uh, now the firmware. I need to look the the status messages and others. That uh, do we have some conflict? Because it might be that there actually still are the BX4 based bootloader, and we now updated to Arduino firmware, so it doesn't reboot correctly. So I just uh, update the bootloader and make sure that all the bootloaders and others are fine, and then we can upload it again. All right, um, all right, all right. So, yeah, that's about this video. And, and, and like always, if you have any comments, uh, requests or anything like that one, remember, leave the comment down below. And if you want to have some certain kind of videos made, like for Yanni, hey, can you, can you uh, make a video about how to connect this one or how to configure this one or, or how to work with these kind of systems, send an email to us or uh, put it in the comments. And the email where you can send your uh, special uh, video requests are youtube at jdrones.com. So youtube at jdrones.com. All right, good. Happy building, happy flying, and till next video. Take care.